So this question is a translate word problem question, TWP. I know that immediately, given the length of the question, typically TWP questions are anything greater than four lines long. And what I mean by translate word problem is as I read, I want to translate everything quantitative that I'm reading. I don't want to just read all the way through for understanding. I'm actually reading to translate into a mathematical equation or expression, sometimes a drawing, depends on the question. So let's read through this one and let me show you how I approach these types of questions. So the first sentence here says, Jacqueline spent $150 for supplies and gas to start a lawn mowing service. So because 150 is a number, it's quantitative. So I'm going to say 150 equals gas plus supplies plus sup. Next sentence, she charges $25 for each lawn she mows. Okay, 25 equals lawn. And obviously, she can cut more than one lawn, so I know this is going to be a variable here, so I'm going to say lawn is equal to x. x is the number of lawns. In the first week, Jacqueline made $50 after the cost of supplies and gas was deducted. Okay, well, kind of that means she made $200, right? Because after she took this out, this $150 that we just read about, she had $50 left. So uh, that means that she worked 25x and she subtracted the 150 and what she had left was $50. Hopefully that makes sense. She cut some lawns, that's a 25x because she's making $25 per lawn, but we're subtracting out her startup costs, right? The 150 she spent. And then we're getting her profit over here or how much money she had left. So here's my translation again so far. And please notice I'm stopping. I'm making sure I understand connecting the dots between sentences, not the typical just read through it and, and get a, a general understanding. I like to do it this way so I don't have to read it multiple times. Then it says, which equation represents this situation where X is the number of lawns? Good. If that had been wrong, I would have to change it, but I already set that. Jacqueline mowed during the first week. Well, we've already done that, right? Because I am certain that this equation represents what I read. She mowed some lawns. She made $25 per lawn. I subtract the 150 that she paid for gas and supplies, and she had money left over, and that money left over was $50. So the equation that fits the situation is choice A, and that is our correct answer.